Welcome to MCAT Strategy. Today we will be discussing verbal reasoning practice analysis. Analyzing your answers after you've completed the passage is a very important part of training for verbal reasoning. I've seen a lot of people get into the bad habit of just simply practicing passages and never going back to analyze their answers. So always make sure you take the time to go through your answers and do a detailed analysis. The first thing to look for is whether or not you got the main idea and the author's position correct. You can look over your answers and look over the passage again and compare that to the main idea that you wrote down. Sometimes you will need to go back to the passage and perhaps reread it because you misunderstood the author or the main idea behind the passage. When you're looking over your answers and marking it, try to reconstruct your thinking. What exactly were your thoughts when you saw the question and what thinking processes did you go through to arrive at the answer that you chose? Uh, when you look at your wrong answers, ask yourself, are there any flaws in, with your thinking? Some people might make too many assumptions or bring in outside information. So try and identify what you were thinking and whether that thinking was correct or not. Another thing to look for is how confident were you in your answer. If you always get the confident answers correct, then you know that what you are doing is working for you. However, if you felt confident but still got the question wrong, then you need to look at the things that made you confident and misled you. This is important because many MCAT questions are designed to lull you into a false sense of security and you might have been confident in your answer but really have fallen for one of their traps. The primary purpose of looking over your answers and doing the analysis is to look for patterns some of the things you are looking for are what type of passages are you struggling on? Some people struggle with specific topics like art or the science passages or historical passages. What type of questions are you getting incorrect? The MCAT has a number of question types that will show up in one form or the other throughout all of the passages. So perhaps you find that you are getting the Roman numeral problems incorrect, or perhaps you are getting the recall questions incorrect. The MCAT also has a number of traps that they use in their answer choices to get you to pick them. Sometimes they will paraphrase a part of the passage or actually cite a part of the passage verbatim, and that can sometimes and often is a answer trap. Another type of answer trap is when they invert the idea. Maybe the author was trying to say that A causes B, but the answer choice has it the opposite way, where B causes A. So try and identify what type of answer traps you are susceptible to. When you are practicing under time conditions, make sure you write down after each passage uh, how long it took you to do the passage. Ask yourself, how much time you spent reading in, as opposed to answering questions. Some people f find that they read too quickly and that could be a problem. And on the other hand, some people read too slowly and that, it, that doesn't give them enough time to do the questions. A good habit that you can develop is keeping a log that will help you to identify problems and patterns within your verbal reasoning. This would be an example of something that you can use to track your progress and track your, the patterns in your verbal reasoning. Here you would record your passage type, the score you got on the passage, total time, and the breakdown of time reading and time doing questions. Next, I'd like to focus my attention on the questions that I got incorrect. For each question, I ask myself what type of question it was, the answer trap that I fell for, and, any, and I record any remedies to the problem. In other words, what could I have done 
that would have led me away from my incorrect answer and led me towards the correct answer. If you've practiced enough, there should be distinct patterns that emerge from your practice. Obviously, the next step, once you've identified problem areas, is to develop strategies to address them. For example, if you have a question type, say Roman numeral questions, that really gives you problems, then you can ask other people or search online for strategies that are geared specifically towards addressing that type of question. And you can develop a specific strategy or approach to answering a question that you find difficult. If there are answer traps that you repeatedly fall for, train yourself to look for them actively and to be able to spot them easily. And whenever you see one, then highlight it and make a note of it and make sure you do not fall for it. If you have passage topics such as art that give you particular problems, perhaps pick up some reading or read more about art and familiarize yourself with more of that type of writing so that you don't feel as intimidated when reading it. Well, that's all for today's topic. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them down below, and I'll do my best to respond. And until next time, keep on practicing.